Welcome to Tai Chi on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Today we're at Tan Bark Ridge, just over 3,000 feet elevation. And so with this sequence, you don't have to get it perfect. You don't have to memorize anything. Just follow along and do what you see. I'll be your mirror image. And then also I cue the breathing. But if the breathing part stresses you out, you can just breathe normal. And you can also do the sitting in a chair if you want. You can alternate sitting and standing as needed. So without further ado, find a place where you can do some mindful movement. If you're standing, you can begin with the feet together or as close as you can. The hands can come to the lower abdomen. You can take a deep breath in and out, then let the hands float down by the sides. As you breathe in, the arms float up. A circle in front as if you're gathering an energy right into the heart, send it back down towards the earth, sinking the chi, the life force energy, the source of our power and vitality. Breathing in, gather into the heart. Breathing out, directing back down. One more time, sink the chi. Then from here, you can step one foot out to the side, either foot, and the arms float up in front. Just about shoulder height, and they float down, the knees and hips soften. Breathing in, like you're riding the wave. Breathing out, we call this opening the door, the start of the journey. One more time, breathing in, breathing out. The arms float out to the sides like you're spreading your wings. Then the hands float down, the palms face up. The hands float up the midline, turning at the heart, pressing up overhead, floating out and down, holding up the sky, breathing in, rising up, breathing out, floating down. This one helps to open up the shoulders and chest and decompress the spine. One more time, holding up the sky. This time the hands float up to the heart. One hand pushes up, the other pushes down, connecting above and below. And we'll switch sides, keeping the spine neutral at first. And then this time, if you want, you can do a little side bend, but always easing in, never forcing it. One more time. This time the bottom hand comes up and then pushes to the corner. The other hand pushes in the opposite direction. And we'll come back to center and we'll push to the other corner. The dragon spreads its wings. You can turn a little more this time if you want, letting the back heel come up. Then one more time, nice and easy, nice and slow. This time the Back hand swings around as if it's gliding on the surface of the water. The dragon swings its tail. It's like you're making little ripples in the water, sending out waves out into the distance. This time the hands come together in prayer position and they float across the eye level, then across the heart, then across the lower abdomen. Just as much as you can. We call this the swimming dragon. Float again right across the eye level, the heart, then a little bit lower, opening the shoulders and the wrists. Feeling the flow, you can even lean into it if you want. Swimming dragon. Do one more round. Just gently swaying side to side. And then release and hug the tree, bring it back to center. And then this hand here drops down, toss away the other hand on top. And then one hand pushes down, the other waves in as you soften the hips and knees, rising up, melting down. Breathing in, breathing out. Or take as many breaths as you need. This time we'll step out to the corner. As you step out, the bottom hand brushes past the knee, the top hand pushes to the corner. Top hand floats down, the bottom hand floats up and over, coming back to the beginning, brush knee and push. Breathing in, breathing out. And as always, don't worry about getting it perfect. As long as you're moving, I'm happy.
At this time, the bottom hand scoops up, the palms face up. They draw in towards the sides, then circle out and around. The backs of the hands face each other, then spiral the palms back up, draw back in. The mama bear gathers her cubs. You can move with the breath, or just take as many breaths as you need. Breathing normally is okay. And step back in, hug the tree, then this hand drops down, toss away the other hand on top, step in, pushing down and waving in. As you soften down, rising up, floating down. This time we'll step to the other corner. As you step out, the bottom hand brushes past the knee, the top hand pushes to the corner, circle it back around, weaving it all together just like a dance that you don't have to get right. <laughs> Brush knee and push. Feeling all the sensations that you can, bringing mindfulness to your body. This time the bottom hand comes up, the hands draw in, and then circle out and around. The backs of the hands face each other, spiral the palms back up as you draw the hands back in. The mama bear gathers her cubs, shifting the weight forward and back. Nice and easy, no rush. And then step back in, hug the tree, the arms open, and the hands float down, the palms face up, one hand on top of the other, and then one hand floats up, drifts right down the center line of the body, and breathe in, the other hand floats up, floating down, centering. Do that again, creating mental focus and clarity One more time, centering. This time both hands float up and over just as much as you can. Then the hands float down to the waist as you soften the hips and knees. Circle the hands in front as if you had a big ball right in front of the body, scooping under, back up to the heart, and then down. And all the way up and over again one more time, down to the waist. This time we'll make a diamond shape with the hands right in front of the heart and then press out, reaching, connecting, sending out all your loving kindness out to the world. And the hands can come to the heart. Self-compassion. And the hands can float down to the lower abdomen and step your feet together or as close as you can, just taking a moment to feel into the body Expressing gratitude to yourself for being here today. Then the hands can come together in front of the heart. We can finish with a bow. So I hope you enjoy the Tai Chi flow. If you want to continue to explore Asheville with Tai Chi, then just click the link right here to go to the next video, and I'll see you over there.